Level 5, Grade E, Order of Operations. Now the acronym we use here is BIDMAS to try and remind us that the order in which we do things is brackets, indices, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. Now with that, um, division and multiplication, they actually come at the same time and addition and subtraction, they are done in order from left to right when we've got those to do, but we'll talk more about that as we go through. Okay, but the first thing to make sure is we do the brackets first. Indices are powers, so something like squaring or cubing or doing a square root should come next, followed by division and multiplication, which always comes before addition and subtraction. Okay, let's have a look at some examples. So, here's a question at the top here 5 plus 2 times 3. Now, um, the way it's written, you might think that 5 plus 2 is 7 times 3 is 21. But let me just show you what happens on a calculator if I do that calculation, if I use a scientific calculator. 5 plus 2 times 3 is in fact 11. Because the calculator knows that you must do things in a certain order. And that order, if I bring it back in again, is brackets, indices, division, multiplication, etc. So we must do this multiplication before we do this addition and what we're really saying here is there's like an invisible bracket around this multiplication that tells us we must do that first we don't need to write it because we should know that's what we've got to do first but uh, that's what it's telling us there's a bracket around that so 2 times 3 is 6 and then I work out this, this, what's left from the left to the right 5 plus 6 is 11 OK, let's have a look at the first three questions here. Now these are testing our understanding of uh, the powers part, the indices. So the indices come first, so we must work out this power. There's a bracket around this power, even though we don't write it. So 5 squared is 25. What we mustn't do is then write plus 4. The 4 should stay in the same position, and we, if we work it out properly we would write it underneath. Then 4 plus 25 29. Now that's not a problem when you're adding, but if this was a minus, then if I did put the minus 25, 25 minus 4, I'd have got 21, where it should have been if that was a minus 4 minus 25, which would be negative 21. Right, this question, we have a bracket and a power. Brackets come first, so we must do the bracket first. Three, 5 plus 4 is 9. And then we do the squaring. 9 squared is 9 times 9, which is 81. Uh, here we've got squaring and a plus, so we do the squaring first. 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, and then I'm going to add them together to get 30, 41. Okay, let's just remove that for now. Okay, next one. Now we've got some fraction lines. Now fraction lines are awkward because um, they don't show you, but when they're written like this, there is a invisible bracket around the top and the bottom. So you must work out the whole of the top before you divide by the bottom. So this top is 13 minus 3 squared. So we must do the 3 squared first, which is 9, and then do 13 minus the 9. Not 9 minus 13, but 13 minus 9, which is 4 and then the bottom is 5. Now I could leave it as 4 fifths, that's fine, but if I put in it, if I knew that was a decimal, that would be 0 0.8. Okay, this one, I've got to work out 13 take away 3, which is 10, then I'm squaring it, which is 100, so I'm left with 100, and divided by 5, this line means divide by, and 100 divided by 5 is 20. Okay, now we've got a bracket, just a slightly different place, 13 minus 3 is 10, because there's an invisible bracket around this top, I must do that first. And then I've got to do 10 divided by 5, which is 2. So I've got 10 over 5, and then squared, which is 2 in the bracket, squared, which is 4. It's quite a tricky one, really. And then sort of standard ones that we come across all the time. There's an invisible bracket around the multiplication, so we've got 16 minus 8. Be careful not to change the order of the minus to get 8 is the answer there. Here the bracket tells us we must work out this 14 and then times by 4, which is going to be 56. And then here 
dividing comes before adding so there's like a bracket around there which is 8 plus 5 which is 13 can be very tricky all of operations and a lot of good students make mistakes on it so be very careful